Change. Change is a good thing. Hello, I'm Sonia Crutchfield, the Director of Twins at First United Methodist Church. Change is something I've been thinking about a lot the last couple of weeks after a Sunday school lesson we presented to our children and twins during which Saul's name is changed to Paul. In the story, Saul was one who persecuted those for their Christian faith and changes to become Paul, one who sacrifices everything to share the message of Christ. Change is a good thing. Change is not usually something that I seek. During my years teaching school, I found that students in my class seemed to achieve more when we followed a set routine. Those days that included special assemblies or changes in PE usually ended up with things going a little crazy. Someone would end up with a lower conduct grade and exhaustion would set in at the end of the day. But remember, change is a good thing. Early into the pandemic that is facing us now, my dad sent me an article covering the history of toilet paper. With the shortage that was occurring and both my boys working in paper mills that produced toilet paper, he thought I would enjoy the read. I can assure you, I'm glad that toilet paper has changed. I wouldn't want to still be using sticks, hay, pus, fruit peels, leaves, and seashells. Change is a good thing. Right now, our world is full of changes. Our daily life is filled with changes that we never dreamed of three months ago. Now, as many of us begin to return to jobs, shopping, haircuts, the gym, and restaurants, everything has changed. Even the way we are worshiping together has changed. However, if we turn to God's Word, He says in Malachi 3, 6, For I am the Lord, I change not. What a comfort. With all the changes, there is one thing that does not change God. This includes His great love for us. The changes that we are facing right now are many. Some are hard, being away from loved ones and friends. Some are scary, with our jobs or incomes being lost. Some changes have been good, more time with immediate family, time to rest and slow our pace. Whether we like it or not, life involves change. We just happen to be faced with a large number of changes all at once right now. From day to day, we need God to help us get through whatever change may come our way. Some days we may be saying, thank you, Lord, for the change we face, while other days we may be crying out, why, oh why? Whatever the day may bring, change will come. And if we have a relationship with Christ, we can handle them all. Remember, God doesn't change. He has always been and always will be never changing. In Psalms 102, verse 27, the psalmist declares, but you are the same and your years will not come to an end. I'm so glad to know that we serve a God who stays the same. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Whatever changes, God is our constant and dependable anchor. So let the changes come. We will not walk in fear, but in faith. We will trust God with all the changes and know that he is more than able to help us and that he has a plan to bless us. Change is a good thing.